So it's been a while since we've done some recording over in Western Australia. We've made it to Dampier. What an amazing little town this is. I shouldn't say little, big town. Uh, a few dramas on the way. Fridge shit itself in the, in the van, so uh, got to go to Port Headlands to uh, pick up the new one. But while we're here, this port is so very busy. Um, I'll give you a sneak preview. This little island is Todd Pole Island. Did a little sneaky little camp over last night, so. Uh, and in the distance over there where the boats were, we had a bit of a storm come through. So, the weather over here is quite hot. <laughs> Probably doing it at the wrong time of the year and going the wrong way. So, but it's all part of the journey and you guys come along with us. We've been here for two days so far. So Dampier exports um, iron ore, salt, and liquefied natural gas. It's done by Rio Tinto. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Time for a cuppa. So here we are. We've made it to We've made it too. We've actually made it to Broome and we're here staying at Cable Beach. So, gonna go check out the town jetty. Apparently, it's supposed to be quite nice out this way, so we're gonna check it out. And we might even run into someone down here. I swear they're following us. But, we'll let you know. Some pearls in the playground for the kids. Here's a little bit of art. This was all part of the broom air raid. As you come out on the way to the jetty, so the nine figures stand less than two kilometers from the site of the wreck of the Catalina. They've done a nine zeros, nine stories of the past. about up here at Broome there's even a few signs out saying watch out for the big lizards getting around if you see them and also the stingers so I don't know if you can see but check this out over this way and then eventually when you get to the end of the jetty you'll see this view So while we're staying in Broome, we're at the RAC caravan park. Um, hardly anyone here at the moment. Bit quiet that time of year, cyclone season. But uh, yeah, check it out. There's all units over this side, huts. Over this side, there's all caravan camping.
get out of the heat. They've even got themselves a nice cozy pool as you come in, so here we are right now. Fans in getting some aircon done, so we lost the uh, AC when we left Port Headland, so 600 k's of uh, sweating our bums off. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that gets fixed today. Girls going in for a massage. All the crew. It's uh, macrame and broom here this morning, so feel free to join. <laughs> Mary's making a pot plant holder. No pot plants. So here we are at Ganthium Point. She had the old lighthouse up top. She's an old one. Uh, yeah, we're going down to check out the rock pools down here today, so. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. So they reckon on an 8 metre tide, the rock pools up here you can actually swim in, so a little bit low at the moment, um, but yeah, that'll be interesting to see. We've got a few more days left in Broome, so and then we're going to start heading back down, down the coast. We're hoping to get up, the, up through the Northern Territory, uh, but with the Fitzroy River or the bridge that's been taken out, um, yeah, there's no access for us to get across. So. Looks like we've taken a long trip back home. There. Yeah. Oh well. Them's the brakes and we'll have fun on the way, so keep watching. Amazing, it's good if we can get those holes full with some water. Later on tonight, we're gonna go check out the sunset over the ocean. Might even get down towards the camels and get you get some camels on the uh, on the digi. So, uh, yeah, right, hey, we'll go and see what else we can find. Check out the colour in this limestone rock formation. There's a place called Marble Bar, and it's got all these rocks with all these beautiful ochre colours in it. It'd be amazing to see, but we can't get there. All the roads are destroyed at the moment. Maybe not too much cycling, but just flooding. Um, so, yeah. Oh well, continue on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's an osprey hanging around the... Another one in the nest. Right, eh? We'll leave them be, but a few babies in there, so. How cool is that? A couple of sprays. Then, you come out the other side of the point. So, out here, they, um, they said there were some dinosaur footprints, and after stumbling across all of these rocks, we've finally come across them. So if you come out here, poke, poke around a bit, you'll come across something like that. You've got to be here to see the colours. So, um, yeah, very specky. So many different uh, configurations of rock formations, so the colours 
mate. This is nice. Murphy, Murphy, get here. So have you heard that yelling? That was Murphy trying to go for a swim out in the open ocean. It's a bit of the colour formation I was talking about before. So you can imagine that when the sun hits it. Very spectacular. Like the Osprey's out for a, uh, a hunt for this morning for a bit of food. That's the point done, and now we're going to shoot off to the, uh, the port. Check out some more um, poofs and stuff like that. Yeah. Let's go. So here we are, we're down at the port and we're looking out what's around. Looks like tide's coming in, so check this out. And of course, old faithful Murphy. Him hot, so he's resting up under the shade. The other day a uh, big cruise ship came in and docked up there. Here we go. How cool is this? No one's here but us. And at the port here, they've even got their own little nature's window. Check this one out. Murphy's in for a swim. Oh, look who's here. The Dun Dreaming team. <laughs> this is pretty specky, isn't it? Hey? It's a little hermit crab race. How cool is this? In a cave, looking out at the port. Mate, there's some amazing colours in here. But then, check this out. We're going to show you looking out. How good's that, eh? Wow. There you go, that's part of the port. Broom. Got some pretty uh, pretty hot little stuff here, so it's worth checking out. So here we are last night in Broom. The crew. We're going down to check out the, the sunset going down and hopefully some camels. So let's have a look at this, eh? Oh, are you ready for this? Oh, 
Look at that, right on cue. Like Joe said, golden hour. It's golden hour. We're on. <laughs> so we'll get down the beach, make our way up to the camels, see how we get. Hey, how are you? Beautiful, bright, and good. There's good light and broom. <laughs> good light and broom. <laughs> if you haven't heard that song, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. If you got a dog, they can run on the beach nearly all the way to where the camels are. Well, when I get to Cable Beach, I'll fall right out of the truck and Murphy. into the sea. With my clothes still on, I'll plunge under the waves, and all the dirt will drain away. And just like Bunjo, I'll get two dogs, and every evening I'll walk them along on the edge of the country. So it's been a week since we've uh, stayed here. What an amazing little spot. Back on leash for Murphy. Oh, yep, back on leash. Murphy. So this is where it ends from here. Murphy, come. He smiled and said, there's good light and broom. And in the distance, we've got some camels that are coming. Check this out. In Broome, Western Australia, you can even ride a camel along the beach at sunset. That's when I felt there's a good light in Broome. Good light in Broome and I'll be there soon. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Sit on the beach, stare at the moon. Here they come. <laughs> How good's that, eh? Sunset, going down, camels. That's when I felt there's a good light in room. How awesome is that, eh? Sunset going down, a couple of cold beers or wines up on the beach, spending it with your loved ones. Couldn't get any better, so get the chance, get up here, check it out for yourself. Enjoy life, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. With Maz and Daz, I'm Mad Az Trippin, and we'll catch you on the next one, somewhere around Australia. Good light in broom, well I'll be there soon. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Sit on the beach and stare at the moon. Didn't I tell you it's good light in